Hi, I'm Alex from Mike's Dive Store, and today I'm going to be looking at the differences between A clamp and DIN regulator fittings. Let's begin by taking a look at A clamp. A clamp is the first uh, fitting that was invented for diving regulators and it's got a few different names. It gets uh, called international, uh, it can also be referred to as yoke um, and the A-clamp name is really just because this metal bracket is roughly in the shape of an A. The way A-clamps work is that you have a screw fitting on the back, usually a dust cover and then the yoke or the A bracket if you like sits over the pillar valve and then this screws into the back and the o-ring that makes the seal exists on the tank itself and not actually on the regulator. Let's take a look at DIN. DIN is a slightly more recent invention and DIN stands for Deutsche Industry Norm and it's basically just the German uh, sort of ISO standardization name. A DIN fitting is different to A-clamp primarily because the o-ring that makes the seal is actually now on the regulator itself. So the way that a DIN fitting works is that the threaded screw piece there actually screws into the pillar valve and screws into the cylinder. One of the most common questions we often get asked at Mike's is which one is best, A-clamp or DIN? And the answer to that is that they both do a really good job at what they need to do. However, there are a few advantages to the DIN system uh, over the A-clamp system. The DIN system is a little bit more secure because of the nature of the way it works and the way that the screw actually goes into the pillar valve of the tank means that you're a little bit less likely to either pinch the o-ring um, or for example for a knock uh, to dislodge the a-clamp so it is a slightly more secure fitting and as a result it's preferred by technical divers it used to be that a-clamp fittings were uh, much more prevalent on tanks so uh, a lot of kind of tank systems had uh, a pillar valve that would only take an a-clamp style fitting however these days uh, and in a, most parts of the world, uh, tanks have what's called an M25 fitting, which has a removable insert, and that means that the tank can actually be adapted to both A-clamp uh, or DIN fittings. However, that said, in large place parts of North America, A-clamp is still very much the norm. So if most of your diving is gonna be taking place in those kind of regions, then it may just be a much simpler thing for you to simply go for an A-clamp. If you're gonna be diving through Europe, uh, the Mediterranean, then DIN is definitely the best to go for. And also, another advantage of DIN is that it's actually a little bit lighter than A-clamp. That A bracket does actually add a little bit of weight to the regulator. With DIN fittings, you may sometimes hear about 300 bar or 200 bar DIN fittings. These days, almost all regulators are simply supplied as standard with a 300 bar DIN fitting which means that it can be used on either a 200 bar or a 300 bar tank. DIN is the only fitting that will work on a 300 bar tank. A-clamp won't work on that. But again, 300 bar cylinders these days are becoming a little bit less popular for most divers. Most divers use a 200 bar tank. And what that means is that when you screw the DIN fitting into the tank, there will be a little bit of the screw still visible and that's perfectly normal it just means that the manufacturers don't have to produce 200 bar and 300 bar fittings for something that will do exactly the same job what happens if you decide you're going to go for a clamp and then later on decide you'd rather have a din or vice versa you start with din and decide you'd rather have an a clamp because that's what most of your diving is it's not a problem it's really easy to just retrofit either a DIN or an A-clamp uh, to convert it over to the opposite one. Um, it is a technician's job, but it's inexpensive and not particularly difficult to do. So it's not uh, a, uh, a massive issue if you do at any point later decide you want to change. One of the best options is to buy a DIN regulator and then just add an A-clamp adapter to it. Most of the brands do them and all you have to do is screw the A-clamp adapter onto the DIN fitting and it transforms your DIN reg into an A-clamp reg. One word of advice though, 
don't leave the A-clamp adapter attached to the DIN fitting for long periods of time because if it's, especially if it's been in salt water, it can actually crud up and become really difficult to remove. So just make sure that you take it off after you've used it. So that's DIN versus A-clamp. Personally, I'm a DIN man, but I won't hold it against you if you decide to dive A-clamp.